Hello again, YouTubers. Welcome back to another Captain's Unboxing. I'm the Board Game Captain. And I'm Lynn. And today we're going to be unboxing our copy of Phoenix Covenant, which is a uh, battle strategy card game where the cards are um, the units on the field and move around and attack each other in a similar manner to the big release games like um, Mage, was it Mage Wars, and there was mm -hmm. another one uh, there was another one before Mage Wars, but I don't remember the name of it. But this one was done by a small indie company and is, while it is similar in style, there are some very different ideas in here and I'm uh, very interested in trying this one out. Let's see here. We had actually demoed this when it was in pre-release over a year ago now. I think actually it might have even been two years ago now. Um, oh, and now, okay. I hold the phone. Just hold the phone for a minute. There are many times when we open a rule book from an indie company and we're like, oh, it's not so nice, it's not so pretty, but they're a little indie company with just like two employees and, you know, that's an excuse. It's not an excuse anymore. This is gorgeous. Look at this. This looks like a rule book from a big company. Nice big diagrams, full color, very well put together, sidebars, examples. Um, I'm not letting little companies get away with that anymore because guess what? Phoenix Covenant has raised the bar of what I should expect from an indie game. This is this is this is what I would expect from a big game company like Fantasy Flight or or AEG here. I mean, this is really really nice looking full color rule book. So, yeah, definitely definitely raises the bar of what I'm going to expect from an indie game in the future. Now, uh Let's see, let me go back before the dictionary to see how many uh, pages we're looking at here. We're looking at a 19 page rule book, which is what I expect from a strategy game. The good amount of information, but uh, 19 is still not that bad uh, for a tactical war strategy game. So here we have a whole lot of punch outs, including what looks like possibly some sort of um, score tracker or something. It has a zero through 20 there. Uh, and this is to make some dials. I think, let me see here, there appear to be, did something just fall out? Yeah. Oh, it was just the center punch out. So these are easy to punch out, that's good. And they appear to be a, a two sets of dials. I think that's the board. Let's have a Looks look. Looks like it's gonna be huge. It does look huge and nice. Uh, oh, there's more. Yeah. There's more board. It just, sure. how do we open that? I'm going to show some other stuff while you figure that out. <laughs> um, let's see. So okay, you got it? it? Okay. It. Oh, it is big. So this is obviously either side has a different color with a pair of double diamonds on it. And then in addition, uh, on your side of the battlefield, they have areas that show you side deck, deck, defeated, uh, tracker, and token. So there's areas that are specifically labeled for everything, that's gonna be really easy to figure out then when we're when we're getting ready to play this game, mm -hmm. which I, I really like that they did that. And I mean, the board itself, the battlefield is a little plain, but I mean, how much do you really need for running around and fighting yeah, on a grass? Yeah, it's gonna be covered in cards too. Right. So let's see how the cards look because that's gonna be the big uh, thing we're gonna be looking at when we're playing the game is the cards, which are your units. So I'm gonna open up one stack here. You go ahead and open up another another stack over there. Ooh, okay, these are linen finish. Okay. Oh, very nice quality card. So I have a, a blank extra here, but then uh, let's see, here's a Legion Knight. He's got all his stats and his wording there. Uh, here's some sort of probably a spell card called Healing Rain. Here is a uh, character in a steampunk exosuit called okay. the Boa. I gotta show you this. Go ahead. This card. It's a bunny mage, and he has uh, a warrior dog in like a balloon of magic, like a bubble of magic floating. And it is called Shift. <laughs> I think it's a spell card. Oh, here is a um, um, magic warrior fox called uh, One Tail Blade Singer. So these are some really nice looking cards. I mean, just the artwork is really nice. The production quality is really nice. This, I am, I am flabbergasted by the level of quality from a tiny little 
independent company here. I mean, the, these are these. I already did say that these have raised the bar for me, but it. I mean, I have to. I have to reiterate. These are really the kind of quality I would expect to see from a big company like Yellow or Simon or something like that. AEG, D, some you know, one of the bigger companies. This is what I would expect to see from them. The the art is really nice. The symbols are clear and nice. Um, linen finish cards. Yeah, I'm an, I'm impressed. There's also quite a few extra blank cards. I wonder if that's so you can make some of your own um, because they have some of different colors each, uh, which is possible. Perhaps they, they say in the rule book if that's uh, a thing. So do you have any other interesting different looking I cards out there? Them. So just lots of different cards of the same types. There's also, these are, is this a location, a bastion? These look like spell cards. We have fireball. So, yeah, I'm uh, the Magic only... Shield. Now, the, the only part, the, I, I mean, the, I had a, a the, the, the board itself is a little plain, uh, not really a complaint, mind you. The insert is meh, it's a cardboard insert, but if that's the most I can do to complain about the production quality of an independent game, that's pretty amazing, because all the actual playing pieces look great, and I'm very excited to try this game. Um, I did try it once when it was in pre-production. I'm sure the rules, though, have, have changed a bit since then. And I can't wait to play a game of this with you. Don't, I mean, you have to admit, the artwork is gorgeous in this game, don't you think? Yeah. So, well, oh, that's everything that comes in the box for Phoenix Covenant. If you enjoyed this unboxing, be sure to give it a like. Share this video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the board game Captain. That's Captain spelt with a K on YouTube. And until next time, game on.